guys, it's me, English teacher Matthew, and I'm back with another video. And in today's class, we're going to be talking about relative clauses. Now, there are two types of relative clauses. Type 1 we use when we want to add necessary information, information that's important to the sentence. And type 2 is where we add additional things that are not important to the sentence, but we want to add them in to make our sentence longer. So we're going to be talking about these two types today. So let's begin by talking about type 1. So like I mentioned before, type 1 relative clauses are very important. They add the necessary information to the sentence, the information that we need. So instead of saying, she is the woman, which may be confusing because there are many women, you can say, she is the woman who is standing over there. She is the woman who is standing over there. So the who here helps us to add the information, the necessary information. Now, who we use for people. Who we use for people, to talk about people. So, he is a man who is very famous. For example, he is a man who is very famous. And when we want to talk about things, we use which. Coffee is something which I drink every morning. Coffee is something which I drink every morning. We can use that for both people and things. Coffee is a thing that I drink every morning. He is a man that is very famous. So we can use that in these two situations as well. With a place, we need to use the word where. Where. So for example, um, Vienna is where you can watch many classical music concerts. Vienna is a place where you can watch many classical musical con concerts. And if we want to use um, a word instead of his or hers, we can use whose. W-H-O-S-E, whose. I met a man whose name was Obama. I met a man whose name was Obama. And these um, words can, like I said, are very important to help in to help add in the extra information. Okay. Also, you can see that they make the sentences longer as well. And also, if you're taking TOEFL or IELTS, these kind of sentences. Um, can be considered complex sentences and can help you improve your mark within those tests. So why not start using them today? But anyway, we're going to move on now to type 2 relative clauses. So type 2 relative clauses can be used to add extra information. Even without this extra information, the person or the thing that we're talking about we would still know and understand. We're just adding extra information to the sentence to make it longer. Now, an important point that I should add here is when we add in these type two um, clauses, we need to separate them with a comma. So if it's in the middle of the sentence, we have two commas and the type two relative clause in here, or we can place it at the end, just put a comma and then have it at the end. We use the same words again, who, which, where, and um, whose again. But um, this time we're just adding the information to the end. So for example, I can say, I often use Facebook to contact my friends who are always online. Now the end part, who are always online, this is not necessary. But I've added it in just to make the sentence longer because the first part um, I often use Facebook to contact my friends 
is something that we can understand very clearly. Another thing we can say is we can say, the coffee, which I drink every morning, is from Colombia. The coffee, which I drink every morning, is from Colombia. Here, I've put the relative clause in the middle of the sentence between two commas. The coffee, comma, which I drink every morning, comma, is from Colombia. The coffee is from Colombia can be put together to make a sentence, but it's rather simple. So I added the relative clause in the middle to, add, to make it more complex and to add information. It's not necessary, but I've added the information there just so uh, people know. It makes the sentence more interesting as well. And like I said before, if I'm doing the IELTS, I'm probably going to get a higher mark for using this sentence. And if you do have any questions about using these relative clauses, then please leave them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new. If you do have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, please um, like the video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, keep practicing.